Yep. Hey. Yup. I'm really so pro right now. I'm really so pro right now. Hey everyone, welcome to the second Poke Stories episode, a new video series of mine. Here's what we have in common. We all love Pokemon. But what's interesting is that each of us likes it for our own reasons. Some love it for the collection, some for the game, but there are others who found a reason beyond that. The purpose of this video series is to hear you out, those people who love Pokemon more than just the cards itself. Share your own story and let the world know who you are and how Pokemon has shaped your life. So in this episode, we got a letter from Call This a Username uh, from the UK. So let's go ahead and I'm going to get started and read it to you guys. And it's a tight message. Dear Sir Broke, I bought my first ever pack of Pokemon cards when I was four or five years old. Some of my friends had pulled starter EXs, so I was hopeful as I tore into it. However, I was greeted only with a non hollow furo. Not deterred, I decided to take on a common challenge, find money for the next pack. For around eight years, I attended a private school in which my father was head of PE and my aunt was the principal. Because of this, I got connected to older students which were playing the video games and collecting cards. This made me much more social, and I gained many more friends. To say it quickly, our school was Pokemon crazy. Even the teachers compared cards and battled students. Over time, I built up donations from better players and my older cousin. These donations consisted of some really nice base set holo cards and newer cards such as Blasto EX, which I have to this day. Because of all this hype, I was so lucky as to have parents that thought Pokemon cards were beneficial. This meant that I'd get a pack every two weeks or so, though sometimes I'd do chores for more, and on my birthdays, I'd be allowed to purchase 25 to 35 packs from our local Toys R Us. This did change, however. My dad decided that he would rather be a full-time soccer coach, and I was forced to move schools as we could no longer afford the private one. Because of this, the hype in our house decreased around Pokemon cards, and I got much more focused on the video games, which were much more popular than the cards. My connection to Pokemon in this school also gained me new friends, and meant I wasn't the new kid and instead had people I could rely on. Because of this change, I started to need my cards less and less, and ironically, decided to gift most of my cards to my younger cousin, including many of my rares. <laughs> As I progressed through the years, my friends grew out of Pokemon entirely, yet I continued to play the games. However, lately, I began to lust for the feel of a pack in my hand, and the excitement of opening one. Sorry if that sounds creepy. So I decided to buy a few packs and open them. The best pull I got was a Hollow Talonflame. Looking at my pools, I decided to troll YouTube for opening videos and happy to come across your channel, which I'm very, very glad I did. Inspired by you, I'm going to be buying a booster box in the summer and opening it on my channel, which has no videos yet. From call this a username, uh, slash call this a tweet, PS, make that Twitter account. I'll be thinking about making that Twitter account in the future, but as of now, I don't think I have enough um, people following me for Twitter to be effective. Um, but I'm really happy. Um, <laughs> that you're inspired by me, that you're going to be buying a booster box. I wonder what kind of booster box you're going to buy. I'll be looking forward to that video myself. I find it awesome that your school enjoyed Pokemon so much. As a kid, I also found new friends through Pokemon by training with them. Um, however, I never knew Pokemon would be something teachers would be involved in too. That, <laughs> that sounds pretty awesome, not going to lie. Um, but I'm very glad that Pokemon was able to serve as a social outlet for you and help you out with the transitioning between schools I know, you know, that's usually a tough thing for, um, you know, kids. Um, but I'm pretty, it's pretty amazing the things that Pokemon cards can do, I guess. <laughs> but I also stopped collecting uh, for about 12 years. And I've recently got, gotten back into it myself just from, you know, looking around YouTube. And um, anyway, I hope you the best of luck in your pools and developing your channel. Um, so once again, thank you. Call this a username very much for sending me this letter. It was quite a powerful story, and I really enjoyed reading it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed listening to it. So thank you very much for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed the second episode of this Poker Stories video series. Um, I also wanted to say that for those of you who want to send in your own story, feel free to YouTube message me and ask me for my mailing address. Um, you know, we want to hear your stories. Let, let's, let's let the world know. So check the description if you want to know more about the Poker Stories episode and how you can write a letter to me and what I'm looking for. Um, but other than that, I got nothing else to say. I'll look forward to seeing you guys at episode three. See you guys next time.